Oh, these things. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna leave this part in. There's a new enemy here. I'll figure out what it's called in a minute, and I'll put it up on screen when I get there. These things are a pain in the butt. And you'll see one of my original fails that shows why exactly they're a pain in the butt. But, um, yeah. Just, if you're playing this game, too, for the first time, be aware of these things. They suck. Wait a second. When did I get so low on life? Oh, uh... Okay, that was my bad completely. <laughs> Here's a hint. Don't try to do D-Links if you don't have the meter full, like I tried to do. I always forget about that. And they had me in a corner. They're up here. Don't you dash at me. Ha, payback for trapping me in a corner that one time. <gasps> yep, this one's going in the video. No, 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 I'm not going to make that same mistake. Oh, you jerk. Oh, hello. Alrighty. How much to level two? Alrighty, this is a freaking difference moment. One HP, one experience point left till a level up. <sighs> okay, let's keep going. Defense increase. Very nice. So I just discovered something. When you when you're in a D-link and you pause, the D-link goes away and you can't use it again until you fill up the meter again. So be wary of that. Alrighty, these little things, the glowy things that look like the chili peppers, these are called prize pods. They give you ingredients for ice cream. Like, I guess I'll show that too, even though I've never done it. And I just realized my TV's really loud. Um, anyway. For a very, very long time, these will not show up in your journal because you cannot kill them for a very long while. Hey guys, Fox Raffian 2515 back with some more Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Um, really quick before we head out, I told you I was going to show you what stickers do. Well, I can't totally show you all the way because I've only got that one sticker we got in the beginning. But, um, in your journal, it has an option to arrange stickers. So, you can just place the stickers somewhere and they do something but I'm like um each sticker has an amount of an amount of points with it 
and when you get so many points, you get a prize. Usually I do all the sticker things at the end. Well, actually I've only done that once, but anyway. So, with that tiny little last bit of stuff explained, let's head at the end. Well, actually I've only done that once, but anyway. So, with that tiny little last bit of stuff explained, let's head back out as soon as it starts loading. And we're going back outside. Alrighty, looks like we're fighting our way over to that forest they told us about. By the way, I hope you guys enjoyed the fail that was edited into that last episode. I remember when I first recorded that in my first recording session. That was just hilarious, I'm sorry. But in this new recording session, there is still going to be plenty of fail. And some of it is coming up very, very soon. And you will also probably see in the edited stuff that we did level up and a few of our commands leveled up. So, yeah. We're working on level 3 now. Okay. There we go. Almost to the new area. Useless. Why did I do that? Alrighty. New area. Okay, yes, we heard a scream for help, pretty much, but we have a few things to get first. There's our map, finally. Fire, that's good to get. Actually, I'll go ahead and put that on now. That'll be really helpful. I just seen I just remembered one thing I didn't say about the command system. Um, after you use a command, it has to reload before you can use it again. So if you're like getting pounded and you're using a cure command, um, you may want to have more more than one equipped because um, you can't use cure twice in a row unless you have two cures equipped in your deck because you have to wait for the other one to recharge. Anyway. Let's trespass and get the attack recipe. I actually have no idea what that does. Like, no idea whatsoever. Alrighty. See that sticker up there? It's just a little too high for us to reach. Um, in my last recording session, my brother was in the room and he has some special trick of how to get it without getting an ability from later. I'll try it a few times to see if I can. If not, then I'll show you how to get it the legit way. 
If I can even stand on that stump. Like, I'm actually using my brother's PSP, and it... The darn thing hates me, I think. Yeah, I can't get this. So, I'll... Like, if you really want to know how to get it without the, the, um... Without getting an ability we get later, I'll put that little clip in, too. But, um... As far as this goes, I'll come back when I have the actual ability and show you how to get it. My brother is going to get this because he's better with the controls than I am. But it still might take him a few tries, too. Normally, you need to get an ability called high jump later to get this, but it's just easier to go ahead and cheap your way into getting it. Wait, didn't you like hit off the tree or something last time, or am I mistaken? Okay. There we go. Thank you for that. Darn things that are out of our reach. Alrighty. How many more tri No, don't go there. Alrighty, sorry for the random cut there. Um, I just wanted to check my reports really quick and see how many more treasure chests we need. One of them we see right here. And now here's another thing. Later you have to backtrack because the other treasure chest is through here. But as you can see, Ben's just saying, I can't just ignore that girl who's crying. So onward with the storyline we must go. Get going. 